do this. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, to start off with, would you mind introducing yourself and maybe just a little bit of history about how you got interested in politics? So I'm State Representative Attica Scott and I serve Kentucky House District 41 and I've been a longtime community activist and organizer. I was really born into it. My parents didn't give me much of a choice, so I've been on the front lines for justice for many years. Louisville is home. I grew up in the Russell neighborhood in Vita Terrace. I've gone to school. Um, in the East End, the West End. I've been all over our city and so now I get to serve our city as a representative and what that has meant for me is that I'm able to engage with people, that they see me as someone who's open to hearing their concerns and their issues, that young people come to me and ask me to file bills on their behalf. That's pretty cool that they feel like they have a, a state representative that they can go to in that way. And so what I've seen over the past few years from our community is that people are really rising up and are saying we have voice, we have agency, we have power, and we're going to use it in every single way that we can to try to get transformative change, to try to get justice for all of us. So since I've become a state representative, the issues that have been most pressing for me are those that have come to me from constituents, particularly young people and other people who have felt left out, left behind, and marginalized by government and politics. So whether it's banning discrimination based on natural hair or the Crown Act, or addressing maternal health, particularly black maternal health, or whether it's uh, the issues around our environment and supporting the Green New Deal. Those have been some of the issues that I've been a champion of in my years in Frankfurt. So one of the things I can say about Kentucky as a whole is that Kentucky has um, often had people who would go to the state capitol and rally for environmental issues or um, labor issues, etc., um, LGBTQIA plus rights, student advocacy. What I'm seeing from Louisville is that we have an increasing number of people who are looking at government at every level, local, state, and federal, and they are saying to themselves and to one another, we've got to go to our state capitol. We've got to go to the people's house. We have to march and rally for justice. And we've seen that this year and last year and in previous years that people really are organizing and mobilizing folks to show up to the people's house. And they are claiming the state capitol as the people's house because that's what it is. So one of the things that I uh, like about the district that I represent is not only do I live in the Parkland neighborhood, but we also have the Kentucky Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression located there. And for years they operated an arts and activism camp. So they actually worked with young people who were interested in art in lots of different ways, being creative, whether it was you know art for um, painting, pictures, drawing, um, documentarians, whatever the case may be, and they hone their ability to use that art for activism. What we've seen in these past few years is that people really are saying, what can I do to create something that supports justice, that supports movement, work happening in Louisville, whatever that creativity may be, and I'm gonna bring it to the space where that's happening and offer it up and say, this is what I have to offer. This is who I am. This is coming from my heart and my soul and my hands. And that's pretty powerful because art has a unique way of sharing a message that maybe just us talking about it isn't enough. Maybe us chanting about it or marching or rallying about an issue just isn't quite enough for people to get, to totally understand but art can break it down in a way that folks get it, that they understand, that they connect from their heart and soul and mind to an issue. Artists are agents of change. They always have been. We've seen it all across the globe and we've seen it all uh, across our country and we've seen it across our commonwealth and our city. Artists have always been agents of change, using their platform, using their pen, using their ink, using their photography, their videography, whatever that skill is, their design, their ability to design clothing or now face masks in a way that is message driven, that is about mobilizing people for action, that is about lifting up the voices of the people who've been uh, silenced, if you will. And so artists do that. And they do it in a way that is embracing, that is loving, that is kind, and that acknowledges that there has to be changes that are made and that they aren't going to be silent. When artists speak up, we better watch out. I'd like to see Louisville deepen its relationship with our artistic community, to see the arts as, yes, something that we can go to see a performance, to see a play, to see a movie or, or a documentary, 
and also include the artists that have grown out of movement spaces, the artists that have um, taken their skills with photography or with painting or with uh, writing poetry, the spoken word, and see that as part of our artist community as well. It has to be all of us. It has to be holistic. And we have to make sure that we're lifting up all kinds of messages, right? Not only the messages that are of comfort and joy, but the messages that highlight people's pain and suffering because that drives us to say there has to be a change that we need to make. We can't keep watching people suffer and do nothing. And so let's make sure Louisville that we embrace all kinds of art, that we embrace the messages that art is bringing to us, but not only do we embrace it, we use it to empower change. So I wanna give a, a special shout out to all of the artists who have shown up at Injustice Square Park in the past year and have continued to be part of uh, movement making and justice making here in Louisville because we see you and you are heard, you are acknowledged, and you have turned that artistry into something that's long term, that's ongoing, and that is making a difference in our city. And I want those artists to know that we recognize that.